So when you change your diet, how did you change it? Like, what, what did you start eating? You cut out sugar. So I cut out sugar totally. Yeah. Okay. Um, meat, like a keto diet. Uh, mm, like a like a flexitarian diet. Okay. Yeah, but again, I I didn't cut out meat totally. Well, I did. Until I found Oh you cut again. out meat I cut out meat totally Oh okay yeah, Especially opposite, Especially yeah. the, the local Halal butcher um, Meat yeah. Because That is some Sometimes the most Unethical meat That you will find yeah. The 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 kind of animals The way they're treated mm. It's not Tahir meat We talk about halal But we don't talk about Tahir that's what wanted, meat That's what I wanted To bring it back to Yeah And you know what It's important that the That the animal Has been Respected, it has been treated organically, and it, it it itself has a good diet. Because when you now consume it, bro, that then turns into blood. Well, it turns into energy, goes into your blood, it goes around your body, bro. You start thinking what you're eating. It affects you, bro. So meat, I cut out until I found organic butcher nearby. So I eat only organic meat and I eat that every so often. Sugar was cut out totally. I made small changes that make a big difference. Like eggs have to be free range, bro. Yeah. Have to be free range. Yeah, and you can even read eggs as well. But I know podcast is going to be long. Just the first digit on the, on the code on the egg. It's the government has told the egg manufacturers that you have to put a code on there. First one has to be a zero. Yeah, so you can tell that it's proper organic. Brown bread, I shifted to that. So again, for me, these things came slowly. And how did the how did this change in diet change your life? More energy. Okay. More positive. Okay. More good ideas. Did it change your mood? It changed my mood. Subhanallah. My intelligence. People were saying I was more on the ball. I could remember things. Wow. More ideas in dawah. I felt like because this is the fuel, bro. And if you're eating ethical, moral food. And it's good food. It will it will affect your mind power, your cognitive um, That's abilities. That's really deep. Man. It will, bro. And the thing is, if you're ad- if you're giving dawah, you need to be on on full on point, yeah. all all uh, was it cylinders firing. If you're you know poisoning your body, bro, eventually you're gonna end up in hospital. It's gonna put a strain on your marriage because you're gonna have regular trips to the doctors, to the hospital. Your wife's gonna have complications because there's you got so many diseases coming. And I've seen people, and their relationships have been strained. Why? Because the wife is constantly back and forth from the hospital. It affects the kids. Everyone's going there, and they're like a household name in the hospital. And you know, on that, I'd like to conclude this segment of the podcast, this part of the podcast where we discussed about food. One of my good friends, his name is Abd- Abdul Hakim, um, Sunnah Remedies. One of the things that he mentioned is he said something really deep, man. He said, when you eat, you're either fueling yourself or killing yourself. 